My Black History Month project was on Billie Holiday, who is also known as Lady Day. Born on April 7th in 1915 in Philadelphia, her name was Eleanor Fagan Go. In her teen years, she sang along Bessie Smith and Louis Armstrong and got her professional name, Billie Holiday, from screen actress Billy Dove. At age 18, she gathered more life experience than most adults. Holiday was spotted by producer John Hammond, and in 1936, she began an iconic string of collaborations with tenor sax giant Lester Young. They became best friends and inseparable music partners, and they even lived together with Billy's mother for some time. In 1937, she was unstoppable and suited for top billing across the United States. Billy was the first black woman to work with a white band, and she also put a white gardenia in her hair before every performance. In the 1930s, she was introduced to the poem Strange Fruit, a horrific narrative of lynching in the southern United States. The lyrics were so controversial that her record label wouldn't record it, so she signed to Independent Commodore Records, where she would record and sing and do whatever she wanted to. Strange Fruit became a cultural spark point and hit a record, too. In 1939, with Arthur Herzog Jr., she wrote God Bless the Child. In 1944, she signed with Decca Records, making more classics and even a couple duets with her first musical hero, Louis Armstrong. In 1958, she signed to Columbia Records, and for Columbia, she created her masterpiece album, Lady in Satin, and she also wrote Billy's Blues and Fine and Mellow. Billie Holiday died on July 17, 1959, aged 44 years old, and she died of heart failure caused by cirrhosis of the liver. Here are my references.